Take cottage cheese, blend it, and have both Ben and Jerry running for their money. Hi guys, look at you here and look at this cottage cheese. Yes, the curdly, cheesy, and creamy goodness that won't be so curdled after we turn it into ice cream. And I got the highest quality cottage cheese from Miku's Cheese Factory. Don't party too hard, Meeks. You got it, cheese head. Ow. Oh. You know who else is a cheese head? Miku! And she says to get this video to 150 likes so she can get rewarded with a spoonful of cottage cheese ice cream for next video. Now let's get cottage cheese ice creaming. Now for those not as well versed in the cheese world, what is cottage cheese? Cottage cheese is basically curdled milk. Appetizing, I know. It's made by adding an acid to milk such as citric acid or vinegar, which then causes a separation of the solids from the liquids of the milk. The separated solids are now known as cottage cheese. And I recommend using whole milk cottage cheese, which has 4% fat. It may also be called creamed cottage cheese, and normal people would think, uh, creamed? Does that mean it's blended up until creamy? They actually just mixed in some cream. And I assume you could also use low-fat cottage cheese, but it's giving Halo Top, when who we're looking for is Ben and Jerry. So you should just stick with the 4%. Now the cottage cheese ice cream we're making has a very high protein content, so we can build up those muscles and beat up the bad guys. One tub is 500 grams or two cups, so let's plop the entire container into our blender or food processor. Does anyone still have those things? Now cottage cheese is notoriously known for having a salty flavor. So to make it sweet, just like you, there's the very healthy high fructose corn syrup, sugar, maple syrup, honey, or condensed milk. But it is a look at you cottage cheese ice cream rule to use sweetened condensed milk in this. Uh, why look at you? Uh, because it brings a lovely milky flavor and it also softens up the ice cream and makes it easier to scoop. Let's drizzle drizzle half a cup or half a can of this liquid gold right in. But if you can't have sweetened condensed milk, then I feel bad for you. You can also use honey or maple syrup. Just measure a quarter of a cup of it since it's sweeter. Keep in mind, honey has a distinct flavor, so you'll be able to taste it in the ice cream, which may or may not be a good thing. As for our flavoring, we have cocoa powder, peanut butter, blueberries, the oh so lovely and real vanilla extract, or even hot sauce. So Miku, what is this? I'm a spicy girl, what do you expect? Um, I think we'll just stick with two teaspoons of our classic vanilla. And if you didn't know, vanilla extract actually contains 35% alcohol. So adding this will help lower the freezing point of our ice cream, making it creamier and softer and less likely to form ice crystals. Let's pop the lid on this bad boy on. And then we're gonna do a little blendy blend. We're gonna do a little blendy blend until it's succulent, okay? Like the leaves on the plant. Smooth and lump free. As for our ice cream tub, choose your warrior, including this empty cottage cheese container. We love multi-use plastics here in Lickachu's kitchen. We're gonna choose this nine by five inch tub. So long that it's not a bathtub, then you're set. Do a little grabby grab of our blended up cheese and slowly pour it into our tub of choice. And wow, look at that silky cheese waterfall. So silky, I could use it as hair conditioner. Uh, which I've never done before because my hair's already silky from the cottage cheese. Anyways, as you can see, one batch of this ice cream will leave you with lots of space left in our 9x5 tub. But I've actually gone ahead and made a second batch 
to fill up the pan, okay? This is not necessary for you, but for look at you's aesthetic purposes. It looks more plentiful now, doesn't it? This is the time to swirl in any toppings you like. You know, the usual chocolate chip, strawberry jam, dog treats, if you're making this for your enemy. Or my favorite, air. It's delicious. Let's cover the pan with some aluminum foil to prevent the smell absorption from the two-year-old pizza sitting at the back of your freezer and slide it in for three to four hours. Now this is optional, but I'm mixing the ice cream periodically in 30 to 60 minute intervals. This is just an extra precaution to ensure it stays soft and smooth. Just try not to freeze it overnight, because if you freeze it overnight, it'll become as hard as a rock, which I mean you could thaw out, but the texture may be too hard and icy. You know, just imagine freezing milk. This cottage cheese ice cream is basically the same thing. So what I'm trying to say is, you better finish the ice cream after those three to four hours. And since I'm a cottage cheese expert, okay, let's do a deep dive into the semantics of said cheese. Uh, look at you. Why is it called cottage cheese and not apartment cheese? Is it made in a cottage? Yes. Oh, it is exactly what the name says it is. This cheese was made in cottages. You know, the place where rich people go to jet ski. With the leftover juices from the butter they churned by hand. And with the old milk that they had sitting on their pitapata countertops for a little too long and had turned acidic. Thus calling it cottage cheese. Whoever came up with that name is sort of a genius. Unlike the person that named eggplant, eggplant, okay? It's neither egg or plant. And in the time that it took to speak to you, okay? Four hours have elapsed. So let's check back on the ice cream. Let's grab our lovely cottage cheese ice cream straight from the freezer. And we are ready to scoop. Oh, wait. We gotta let it thaw for five to 10 minutes. So in the meantime, grab your ice cream scooper. Thank you, Miku. No problem. And place it in a cup of warm water for 30 seconds. And let's grab a bowl or this lovely, delicious, Miku loving ice cream cup. Wait, last time I checked, it was called a cone. The ice cream should be nice and thawed now. So let's grab the scooper and slowly but surely scoop that cottage cheese ice cream up and into our ice cream cone. And look at you's ice cream cones are only exclusive to cool people. So you can have one too. And we also got a tub of regular vanilla ice cream just for reference sake. And on first glance, both cottage cheese ice cream and regular ice cream look very similar. But stick around to see how it tastes. And if you're the type to eat ice cream straight from the bowl, then it means you're sophisticated and a little mysterious. Four scoops makes us a beautiful ice cream pyramid. So let's top it off with any toppings you'd like. And yes, I'm handpicking these sprinkles that I like because this bag is filled with nonsense. We all know the long cylindrical rainbow ones are the supreme sprinkles, okay? And there we have it, ice cream, cottage cheese style. And I'm super excited. All right, cheers. First bite for you, mm, nom nom nom. This one is the cottage cheese and this is the vanilla. Let's try the cottage cheese one first. Mm! When you first take a bite, you get hit with that oh so creamy and decadent and rich blended cottage cheese. Then you let it dissolve a little and you can taste that lovely vanilla as well as that nice condensed milk flavor. The texture is very, very creamy. Actually, even more creamy than regular vanilla ice cream. The regular vanilla tastes like frozen whipped cream. Whereas this, this 
This tastes like a New York cheesecake in ice cream form. And it can hold its form better. As you can see, the vanilla is melting already. But this one still has its shape. And all it is is cottage cheese. And I know what you're wondering. Does it still have that saltiness that cottage cheese gives? No, it doesn't. You can barely taste the salt. I think the salt added in the cottage cheese just enhances the flavor of the vanilla and the flavor of the cream and milk. And if I gave this cone to you without telling you it's cottage cheese ice cream, you definitely won't be able to tell that it's made from cottage cheese. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And I'll see you guys next time. Her daily multivitamin. Still delicious, right? And if you're still here, comment Miku is a cheese head to confuse everyone.